What's going on everyone? It's Owen from RPG Daily. Uh, today I got a setup video to show you. Uh, basically I want to show you how I record my gameplays and then how I edit them, put them together and throw them up on YouTube. Um, the reason for doing this is basically because when I went to look, when I started out and I searched on YouTube for setup videos, I couldn't find any. Um, well, I could find a couple specific to Mac, but they weren't very good. So I'm going to show you basically how to make high quality gameplays um, from your Xbox or PlayStation 3. So first off, I have, I'm in my room here, I'll show you. Um, I'm sitting on the couch in game, got my TV, and I got my Xbox, and then I have my Hapog HD PVR. Um, so what you need to do is take your component cable from your Xbox, and that'll go around to the back, and it'll plug into the HD PVR, and then you'll take the, the component cable that came with the PVR and plug that down and into the TV. And that will send your signal from your Xbox to the PVR and from your PVR to your TV. And it does it in real time so uh, there's no lag or latency or anything. And then you take um, the USB cable that came with the PVR and you route that up and to your computer which mine goes through the roof there. It's really bright. And then I have to I had to buy two different cables and connect them together so it could reach to my iMac. And then it plugs in here. And then basically, um, yeah, that's that's what you do for cables. You have Xbox to PVR, PVR to TV, and then a USB cable for your PVR to computer. Um, and yeah, I'll show you. I'll just hit a switch here. Or hit my controller. You can see in real time. I don't know if you can notice the difference on the screen. Stuff is changing. Push this button. But there's no lag at all. So you can totally play it totally fine. Um, when there is lag though, I'll show you. If you take your controller and try to... So you can see the screen there. I hope it might be too bright for you. But um, there's lag from the PVR to the computer. So you can't play on your computer, but that's fine. It's just there to show you what's going on. Um, yeah, and then I have, I use a, I don't even know what kind of mic this is, let's see, a Samsung CO1 Studio com condenser mic. Um, it uses a USB interface, a Tapco one I bought off eBay, it's right here. And uh, that's what I use to record my voice. Uh, right now you're hearing off my Canon 7D camera uh, audio, so I don't know how good it's going to be. But basically, I use this mic and the Hapog HD PVR to record. Wow, uh, that's my hardware, that's what I use pretty much. Uh, next, I'll show you what I use for editing and actually capturing the footage. Um, yeah, so stay tuned here. Alright guys, so I'm here, I'm on my computer now, and uh, I'm going to show you two programs. One, ITV, uh, spelled I like your eyeball, uh, it's a program for Mac to capture your footage off your HD PVR. And then the second one I'll show you is just uh, Adobe Premiere, it's what I use to edit my stuff, my videos. Okay, so ITV, um, it's available for about six, I don't know if it was 60 or 80 bucks or something, or in between there. Um, and it's really great. Uh, so I'll show you what I do. Uh, I'll open the program and then this will come. It'll look like this. I'll go, uh, oops. file, open live TV window. And this will show me what's being, like, uh, inputted into my PVR right now and through my component input because that's what I've chosen. So this is on my TV right now. My Xbox is doing. And, uh, I have my Xbox controller in my hand and I'll show you well, I'll I'll push left bumper. I'll make sure you guys can hear it in the microphone, and then you can see what happens on the screen. And it switches. And it switches. And it switches. So you can see it's happening live. It's just there's a little bit of lag. Okay, so say we want to record this, what we just did. Um, what I do is I go back in time, so I can go back as far as I want. Well, um, up to a couple... It depends on how loud, on how large you put your buffer settings. 
Um, that'll depend on how far back uh, the program like, keeps a buffer of. So I'm going to go back to about here, and then I'm just going to press the record button, and then it'll start from here, and I'll just drag up and say, okay, I want to where we switched, so you can see it's switching there. And then I'm going to stop recording there. And then it'll compact it, and then it's right here, and I can play that if I want. Start at the beginning. It's going to be boring, but that's that's what we've captured and recorded. Um, and then I can close this because we're done capturing. And then this is a file that I need to export to a video so that I can edit it. So I go File Export. I'll put it in my Setup Raw Test. Actually, I'll call it Xbox Dashboard. Uh, dashboard. <clears throat> I'll export it, and in the meantime, I'll show you some settings I use um, that I had to change when I first uh, set this up. So if you go to uh, File Preferences, under General, this is all fine. Under Recording, this Live TB buffer right here, size is uh, 10,000 megabytes, 10 gigs. Um, the bigger you make that, the more time you can record like having that buffer that I was talking about earlier. I think at 10,000 or 10 gigs, I'm around two hours worth of uh, time. But it, it uh, that amount will change depending on how large you have this. So right now, um, there's different quality settings. There's good, better, best, and you can tell they change. Um, <clears throat> your megabytes, megabits per second you know, go up and down depending on what you want to do. Um, in order to get the best quality, you want to go to custom and then edit, and you want to crank this constant bit rate all the way to the top, and that'll give you the best quality. Uh, I suggest buying a second hard drive though, because you'll if you record a lot, you'll run out of space on your primary hard drive uh, pretty fast. And that's the only two things I think I had to change uh, when I set it up. Yeah, so that should be good. Make sure you do that before you start recording. I do it for both. Make sure you change this buffer size or else you may lose some stuff you wish you had. All right, so this has been exported. So I'll open a new finder window and I'll go find it in raw. Here it is. You can see that's our video and it's great quality. I'll play it at full screen for us so we can see. Cool. Um, another key thing on your Xbox, what you want to do is, I'll open the live window and we can do it here rather than go back to the TV. You want to record, since you're going to use component cables, because that's all the HDP VR can take in, um, you're going to want to go to settings, system, console settings, display, HDTV settings, and you're going to want to use 720. Um, if you ex if you play at 1080p, your well 1080p can't be processed through uh, component cables because 1080p is a digital signal and it needs HDMI cable. So uh, 1080i you could do, but that's interlaced and the quality isn't as good, even though the dimensions are bigger. Um, 720p is where it's at, and that's where you want to go until you can afford or until you can buy a some kind of black magic intensity uh, HD in. Uh, uh, like recorder, um, yeah, U720, it's great. Okay, so we've got our our footage recorded, and uh, now we need to bring it into Premiere and do our editing. So I can close ITV, hit Command Q for quit. I could close this, and then open up Premiere. <laughs> um. Yeah, so you don't have to use Premiere. Um, you can use whatever video editing software you want. Lots of people use Sony Vegas. Uh, I have the Adobe Suite because that's the industry I'm in, and I'm just going to use Premiere. I could use Final Cut if I wanted, but I don't know. I like Premiere. It works good. It's easy to use. And I'll show you how I do my editing for our videos. It could be different for you. I'll just show you how I bring in my... Um, my intro, uh, my audio sample, and then my 
uh, outro and like end template I call it. So I'll go to new project. Oops. I'll browse. Set up new folder, call it project files. Choose that and I'll name it uh, Xbox dashboard. Hit OK. And I use HDV 720p at 30 frames per second. You can leave it sequence one, doesn't matter, it's up to you. All right, and then when it loads, I'll go do, I'll right click my in my project files viewer here, click import, select my footage, open. It'll take a minute to import it, and I'll go import again. This time I want to grab my intro, I'm going to back up. I'm going to go to intro, grab that, and I'm also going to import while I'm here my end template. Um, I'll grab the one from Call of Duty, Project Files, Outro Bumper. So basically, um, I'll open these in the source viewer so you can see them. Uh, the Outro Bumper is this at the end of every video. Pretty simple, it fades itself and everything. Has my frame for my recent video up there. Uh, my intro is this. The intro, and both of these contain audio. So I'll drag my intro down into my timeline, and then I'll drag my, oops, drag my footage down to my timeline. And I'll go find some audio quick. Import COD. We'll take our last something here. Channel update, sure. That's here. Drag it down to our audio. And then I'll zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And I usually um, put these on different layers, and this one on a different layer as well. And then I like to just cut this over a bit and bring that with it a little. And then we can use video transitions here, dissolve, cross dissolve, throw it on our footage, make it fade in, and maybe drag that over a little bit more. And then we're going to use the same thing but with audio transitions, cross fade, exponential fade. If we get it dragged on, right? I'm just going to shorten that. And then the same thing on our gameplay or footage to fade in that audio. And then we'll zoom out, scroll to the end, uh, cut this short, doesn't matter. For now, we'll go to outro bumper, throw that sucker down, and then cross dissolve out the end of our clip and exponential fade out at the end of our clip and exponential fade our audio out so that'll go out nicely and then in comes this and we need to import one more piece of footage that'll bear our recent video uh, cut renders channel update sure and we'll drag that on top of everything we'll right click and unlink these two so we can separate the audio and delete it because we don't need it. Uh, we'll click this, go to effect controls, motion, scale, uh, I don't remember what it's supposed to be, 35 we'll try, mm, too small. Line that up nice, pretend it's all good. And then we just um, need to make a cut somewhere. So hit the C tool, click on our playhead there, cut that out, yuck, don't need that. Drag it to where it's supposed to be, and then line her up at the end, C tool, cut on our playhead, delete, and then we're gonna go cross dissolve again for last time, and last time again. So that's basically roughly how you cut our clips together, and then I'll show you what it looks like here. And my bad, um, I used to use 1080i, so my dimensions were 1920 by 1080, and I need to rescale down to 720p, it's 1280 by 720.
what I actually need to do is re-render that intro and my outro. Unless my outro is already done. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, yeah, I just need to re-render that. I should do that today, actually. So, this is what it looks like. Where is it going? I'll zoom in. And then we have our gameplay, our footage here, and it looks just like this. Nice and good. And then we're going to fade out at the end here, and then fade in our outro bumper. And then at the end of the video, once it's uploaded, we got to add annotations. Click, click, and then we're done. And that's pretty much how we upload and capture a video and gameplay. Um, so yeah, just to recap, we have uh, our hardware is... Uh, basically our Xbox and that will take a component cable to our HD PVR and from our PVR we'll take a component cable to our, our TV and then we'll take a USB cable from our PVR to our computer and once there we'll open ITV um, Mac only I think it's around 80 bucks I'm not sure I can't remember we'll open ITV and then we'll open our live TV window we'll go play our game We'll come back, we'll drag to where the game started, hit record, we'll drag to where the game ends, hit, hit re stop recording. Uh, that'll throw it down into our library there, and then we'll um, export that, and then bring it into our software editing, or our video editing software of choice, and uh, throw our clips together. And then um, what I normally do is, in I use uh, Audacity to record my gameplay footage, that's, I don't need to show you that. It's pretty simple. Open Audacity, hit record. Um, and then in there, I just edit it, tweak it a little bit, make it sound a little bit better and louder. And then um, make sure that when you're putting these together, that your gameplay is a little bit quieter than your voice. Because I hate trying to struggle to hear you, know, you talk over your gun going off every 10 seconds. Um, so yeah, guys, that's been my setup video. Uh, you got to see my TV and how everything's set up there and my iMac and how it works over here and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed please like favorite share subscribe do whatever you gotta do uh, thanks guys talk to you guys later